Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DJM here, back again for you guys, another squad builder video. Now EA have recently dropped these Festival of Football cards and I wanted to try a few of them out. So uh, we've got it in a 250k hybrid in a 4-3-3 attack formation. Now I do just quickly want to mention that I paid exactly 250k for this team. However, it may cost you a little bit more. I would say it's between 250k to maybe 300k. So with all that said and done, let's get straight into this. In goal, I've gone with the 88 rated. Jan Oblak, who I bought for 9,300 coins. Now, to be honest, I've not actually used this guy too many times on FIFA 18, but he really impressed me when I did use him. A really solid and safe pair of hands to go with between the sticks. And yeah, I was really impressed with our black overall. So uh, right back now, I've got the upgraded 84 rated Joshua Kimmich, who I bought for 2,500 coins. Did get two assists in the 10 matches. Now, I do really like this guy going forwards. I think he's great technically on the ball, a really good passer, very good ball control and dribbling and stuff like that. However, defensively, I would not say he's one of the best fullbacks out there. I would say he is very weak in that department. So, moving on to the centre backs, I've gone with Jerome Boateng, who I bought for 10,250 coins. I've used Jerome Boateng so many times on FIFA 18. Really is the complete centre back. Got the pace, the defending, the physicality. Really has got everything that you would want. And and then alongside him, we've got our first festival of football player in Jose Gimenez, who is an 89 rated centre back who I bought for 43,500 coins. This guy really impressed me. A very solid, no nonsense centre back. If you look at his stats, he really could be considered to be up there compared to some of the team of the seasons on the game. A really good centre back. And then alongside him, I've gone with Felipe Luis. This is an upgraded 86 version who I bought for 9,000 coins, did get one assist in the 10 matches. Now I do like Felipe Luis, I think he's a very solid defensive fullback, really good defending and going forward I would say he's not too bad either, just a very complete solid fullback on this game. Left central midfield now I've gone with the upgraded 85 rated Fernandinho who I bought for 3,700 coins. Did get two goals and four assists in the 10 matches. Not too bad a return for this guy. And yeah, this guy's a very balanced card. Very nice uh, cutting the passing lanes and winning the ball back and just laying it off for other players around him. So moving on to the right central midfield position, we've gone with the upgraded 83 rated Leon Goretzka, who I bought for 1,900 coins. Three goals, five assists in the 10 matches. A very good return from this guy. And uh, yeah, massive fan of Goretzka. Great pace for a central midfielder and just the perfect box box midfielder, really. Can score goals, create chances, really can do everything that you would want. In the camp position now, I've got our second festival of football player in the 94 rated Harry Kane, who I bought for 115,000 coins. Now, I actually managed to snipe this guy, I got him quite cheap. I would say he probably goes for around about 150k on the market at the moment. So we actually got 12 goals and 7 assists in the 10 matches. I was using him as a striker in game as well. And yeah, if you play to this guy's strengths, he really can be one of the best forwards on the game. In the right wing position, we now have got our third festival of football player in Yusuf Poulsen, 87 rated right winger who I bought for 44,000 coins, 11 goals and 6 assists in 10 matches. A very good return. Now for me, this guy was one of the standout players in this team. Such a good player, great pace, really good finisher. He's got the physicality, really has got everything. He's six foot four. And yeah, if there's one thing I want you guys to take away from this video is to try him out. He's a really good player in game. In the striker position now, we've got the 88 rated Christian Eriksen, who I bought for 11,000 coins. Now, of course, I was actually playing with this guy as a striker. He was playing as a cam. I just swapped him and Harry Kane around in game. But yeah, this guy's a really good creative midfielder, can score goals, can create chances. And uh, yeah, he got a total of seven goals and eight assists in the 10 matches. A very nice return from Christian Eriksen. Now, in the left wing position, I've actually gone with the 87 inform Leroy Sane. But I only went with this guy because I had him on a loan version. I would recommend just going with the 84 Sane. Uh, just because if you want to keep it around that 250k to 300k budget, you'll have to go with the 84. But yeah, Sane, a very good winger on this game. You've got 9 goals and 7 assists in the 10 matches. And if you can afford to upgrade him to the 87, I would definitely recommend doing so. Because yeah, he was really impressive. So on to the play instructions for Kane. Stay central, get him behind and press the back line. Paulson, stay forward, stay wide, get him behind and get into to the box will cross. Leroy Sane, stay forward, stay wide, get him hard, get into the box will cross. Fernandinho, just stand on the edge of the box will cross. 
Eriksen stay forward to get into the box forward cross and free roam and then Goretzka stay on the edge of the box forward cross and as always I keep both the full backs on balanced attack. So moving on to my highlights with this team from online seasons, I really did enjoy using this team especially the festival of football players in particular. This Paulson card I'm telling you is something special, he really has got everything that you would want in a winger slash forward. I'd say he could definitely play in a number of positions, could play really well as a striker, being six foot four. He's got the physicality, the pace and the finishing. So yeah, definitely recommend trying him out. As always, you guys can let me know what you thought of this team. You can rate it out of five. I'm gonna be interested to see what you guys say. Actually, in the last squad builder that I put out, it was 150K hybrid. You guys voted it a four out of five. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to upgrade this team, there's a few options out there. You could upgrade Kimmich and get one of his better versions. That'd be a nice upgrade. You can bring in a Toro Vidal for Leon Goretzka. You could get the informed Sane, as I did mention, or even go even further and get his team of the season. And there's a load of team of the seasons that you could actually get for this team such as Team of the Season Oblak, Team of the Season Felipe Luis, Team of the Season Fernandinho, Kane, Goretzka, there's loads of them out there, so yeah, there's some upgrades for you guys. Uh, but yeah guys, that is just going to be about it from me for today, so if you have enjoyed this video, if you could drop a like on it, I would really appreciate that. And if you guys could help me on my way to 3,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely amazing. But that is just going to be about it from me for today guys, so I'll catch you in the next video.